guys, and welcome to the replay, take 9,622. Let's see if I can get past the 15 second mark, because it's saying it's recording, it's saying it's broadcasting, but yet I don't see it anywhere. So, let's try again. Oh my gosh, I'm live, finally! Yay! Thank God. Let yeah. Hi! Finally! Holy cow! This was ridiculous. I've been trying for the last 20 minutes to get this going. It was insanity. I don't know what happened, but I could not get my i couldn't get facebook and reach i mean um switcher and restream to like talk to each other it kept ending it so i'm so glad i'm live i'm sorry for the delay you guys but it's gonna be so worth it so let's get the the things out of the way really quickly number one if you um are watching on facebook Bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is a share button. If you are not a Chalk Couture designer, I would love it for you to share my video. Share this chalky goodness out. If you are watching on YouTube, underneath... Whoops, let's see if YouTube went live. Hopefully it did. If you are watching on YouTube, underneath the live video to the left of the live chat is going to be a share button. Once again, if you are not a Chalk Couture designer, I would love for you to share my video. I'm praying that it went live on YouTube. I don't see anything yet, but let's see. Um, so, um, while you're on YouTube, okay, if you would go over and follow my Facebook fan page, I would be super appreciative. There is my business name. Oh, it looks like I'm on. Please, please, please say I'm showing up as a live. Let's see. Yes, it's finally live. Oh my goodness. That took forever. Um, so if you're on YouTube, be sure to follow me on Facebook. Chalk Couture with Jessica, super easy to see. Now, if you were on Facebook already and you, um, are not already following me on YouTube, I would love it if you would. The reason why is we all know that Facebook gets wonky. YouTube isn't, and I'm going to be broadcasting in both places. So if we ever have an issue where Facebook won't allow us to view pictures or lives or anything, I'm going to be on, on YouTube. So follow my, my um, channel name. It's just at Crafton and Stampin'. It's super easy to find. Um, don't miss out on doing that, okay? So, next, if you, um, have never, you know, if you've never either heard of Chalk Couture or you've seen it, but you're not working with a designer, please put a one down below in the comments, um, because I would love to be your designer. I'll message you the link to my VIP group when we're done. If you are already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, pop a two down below in the comments, okay? Now, last, Lee, um, if you're watching me live, can you please put hashtag live in the comments? Um, we're going to be open some boxes, y'all. I have been waiting for these boxes. I still have two more that are coming. So only four of the five that were due to come today came. I don't know what happened. Um, the box that was due to also come today was my catalogs. I bought a bunch of extra catalogs. That'll come tomorrow. My big mama jama box is not coming until next Wednesday. But this is going to be more than enough to suffice until then, okay? So, um, really quickly, I'm going to throw a little something up here on the screen. So that way, whoops, that's not what I want to put on the screen. Wrong. Um, so if you've never heard of Chalk Couture before, you can totally, um, you can totally uh, see it, okay? Um, let's see. I'm going to try a new way of doing my live today. Um, so that way I can hold up two different ways. Cause everybody has been saying that they've been coming in. Uh, I've been coming in blurry. I'm going to test something else out. Hi, Donna Bragg. Hi, Renee. Hi, Brandy Williams. Hi, we the Elliots. Yay. So glad you're on. Oh, I'm so glad girlfriend. There we go. There we go. All right. So let's test this out guys. Okay. Let's see how this goes. What? Oh, what happened? Okay. Let's try this now. Okay. What do we think about this? Do you guys like this little split screen thing? I think it could be cool. Um, oh, Renee, it's okay. You, I love that you still watch. All right, so let me say hi to some Facebook peeps. Hi, Julie and Amy and Tanya and Donna 
and Sharon and Shirley and Robin and Joyce and Libby and Christina and Lisa and Linda and Teresa and Lori and Megan and Mary and Rhonda. I'm running quick, guys, so that way we can get to this stuff. Hi, Heather. Hi, Janice. Um, let's see. La, baby. I love that. Hi, Anna. Hello, hello. Hello, Melissa Garcia. Hola, girlfriend. Hi, Stacy. Oh, girl, I'm sorry, Melissa. No, no worries, though. You'll definitely be able to catch the replay. All right, so if you guys are going to maybe like this viewing way a little more, I might consider doing this definitely more often. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we are going to get this first box open, okay? So I'm not sure what's in this box. I guess it's chalk pasting, the, our new chalk pasting couture ink. Now, um, we do have some severe storms coming through. So if I lose you guys because we lose the electric, I will be back. I will not continue to open until everything, but I'm getting a ton of news alerts coming up on all my devices at this moment. So yes. Hi, Pauline. How are you? Julie, are you, you should hear sound. I can hear it. I have the sound up. I can hear it. Is anybody else um, having any issues? Hi, Haley. How are you? Is anybody else having any issues? Can you hear? Hi, Barbara. Jack and Elle. How you doing, girl? Hi, Tanya. All right. Can you guys hear? I hear both off of YouTube and Facebook on both of my devices because there's a little bit of a delay on both. So, oops, there goes my address. Hopefully you guys did not see that. <laughs> All right, there we go. Hopefully you guys are able, if you guys can hear, can you throw me some hearts up on the screen? Because I hear me. I bet you feel like it. Oh, Donna Bragg, you better believe I do, girlfriend. Can you guys hear me? You guys, okay, great. Thank you, Johnny. I appreciate you responding. Hi, Susan Ken Harvey. Oh, okay. So this first box is um it is chalk face that's for sure i hear the new chalk yay libby mary's good anna can hear awesome awesome renee can hear on youtube great okay so these are our new chalk paste colors in the form of our chalk paste singles so oh i'm excited to see them too angela let me get these all out so i can get the box off my desk um hi claudia parrington you're under hurricane watch wait shirley Hess, where do you live again you're in texas right can hear final but yes thank you pam huber oh heather that's so sweet Haley, i hope you're being good for mommy okay all is good all is good yay everybody's saying they're able to hear okay good all right so this first pat this first color is and i'm not going to go through obviously probably everything because we're going to see the color coming up close but i wanted to tell you some things about our chalk paste singles so we redid the way that we had them and now the color is at the top of the box which i love because it used to be this would be the top and this would be the bottom and it was a pain in the butt to see what color was in there but now we have the color at the top Ooh, i'm loving me some cadet don't mind that my nails are not filled i have to go get them done i haven't had time um i love some cadet it's a gorgeous blue now, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to open these because I got all of the colors and they should be in one of these boxes and we're going to get to them. So we'll go to something different here. Hi, Sandy, Louisiana, Shirley. Yeah, I heard that. You and part of Texas, right? Um, she's being good for once. That's so funny. Looks like we are out of the Hurricane Watch area now. I'm in South. Oh, gosh, Lori, everybody be safe, please. Hey, Dusty, how you doing, girl? When did they get rid of the large stash piece? Jack and L, that actually happened um, with the new catalog launch. There is still some in the wall supplies last, but they are no longer um, putting them in the catalog to sell. Whoa, I must just cut myself with my scissors. That would not have been good. Hold on. Oh, I hate when that happens. Okay, hold on. There it goes. I got it on one try. On the other side, that is. Hi, Angela. Your boxes come today. You're so excited. Yay. Awesome sauce. Oh, I can already tell that some of these are going to be ones I could not wait to get. Oh, my gosh. I snuck a peek at one of them. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to. Okay, hold on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm so pumped. Just wait. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you ready? Oh. <sighs> This little beauty. 
this little beauty is going to be awesome. It's going to be a great addition to the vintage truck and the vintage camper. Now we have the vintage bug. Look how cute it is. I am so excited. Look at it. It is so adorable, you guys. I love that it's got the registration marks for lining up all three pieces. Um, it's so flipping cute. This, I think, I, I almost want to say that I want this to be my first project, but I don't know because I got a bunch of stuff. So we're going to take a look and see, okay? Hi, Jenny Johnson. Hi, Trina. Um, let's see. Am I missing anybody? Donna's laughing. Yes. So, um, the vintage bug is a size D transfer. It's so awesome. These our size D transfers go for $29.99 on my website. Um, the link is right above, whoops. It's like, hold on. It's above my head over here. Um, you can go right online and get it. They are in stock. Oh, and it's such a little cutie. I love it. Oh my goodness gracious. So I did get a few of them because I have some events coming up. So I had to get a few. So that way we've got them. So that is number one. The next one is going to be, what program do you use to make the side-by-side groups? -side um, Valerie, just message me and I will let you know. Hey, Jackie Marshall, how are you? Hi, Sandra. Thank you for sharing, Donna. Slug bug, right, Donna? That's so funny. Renee, yes, that transfer is so awesome. You got to grab it, girlfriend. All right, now this next one. Oh, I'm so pumped. You have no idea how excited I am to use this one. This is our classic nutcracker. You guys, look at how stinking cute it is. I love that it's got multiple faces, multiple hair, um, multiple mustache styles, and different jackets, and all, like, head, um, what do you call them? Not helmets. Hats, I guess? I don't know. Um, but that is going to be my theme for my porch this year for Christmas. I am praying to the nutcracker gods that home goods is still going to have the five foot or six foot size nutcracker. I didn't get it last year because I didn't trust our porch. I thought putting something that heavy on the porch was going to collapse it. Now that we got a fresh brand new porch, I can put my nutcracker up. I want to put one up on each side and I'm going to do the, our awesome new pennant banners. I don't know if I got any of them in this box. I think that comes in my big, big box that's coming. Um, I cannot wait to go ahead and um, fill up my porch with the little pennant banners with different nutcrackers. It's going to be so cute. I am dying. You are regretting not getting that one, Trina. You totally still can. Um, are you going to do a short project on this live? I am, Megan. You better believe I am. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Cindy. Hey, Justin, everybody coming to you from Edmonds, Washington. Yes, Chris Peterson. Welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you joined, girlfriend. Hi, Ashley. So as you guys are coming in, do hashtag live if you don't mind. And if you are not a chalk couture designer, I would love it if you'd share whether you're on Facebook or YouTube. So the classic Nutcracker, this might be the one I test out today. I'm not sure. Don't hold me to it. I forget everything that's in this, so I don't know exactly which ones I have. So let me, let's see. All right, so let's see. Classic Nutcracker. I know I got a few of these, too, because like I said, I have an event coming up, and I was worried that I would not get it in time. Oh, my gosh. Wait, the next one. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Hold on. <coughs> okay, the next one. We might do this one. I don't know. It might be a viewer's. I don't know. You guys might have to help me make a choice because I am already freaking out over these. Um, yes. Hi, Heather Susan. Yay, it's on your list for July 22nd. Awesome, Trina. Guys, there's no place like Gnome. Do you see our super cute little Gnomey? He's adorable. I love it. Look how cute he is. So, Mads, who is my assistant, we may not be able to do this one live because I know she's really loving this. And she gave me a super fab idea on something to make with these, um, with this transfer I might want her to do it with me because we've got a great idea. So we're going to, we're going to see where it goes. Um, Hey Kim, how are you? How, Angela, do you know if the pen and banner material is the same as the pen? I believe it is Angela. I remember feeling it at ChalkCon where they had them up on display. And to me it did. I can let you know for sure. Um, once my box does come, cause I can feel both of them at the same time. That looked like I was milking a cow for God's sakes. Have a drink guys. Every time I do something hot mess-esque, you should probably all just drink and make it a big fun drinking game because you guys will be drunk by the end of it or you'll be super caffeinated if you're drinking your coffee or soda. 
because, well, you guys all know I'm nutso. So the little gnome has a, bit, a, a bunch of little layers, tons of um, registration marks so you won't mess up. He is going to be the cutest thing ever. And I love that the gnome has um, a chalk box. So if you want to get, you know, if you want to get it with everything in it, it's a great chalk box. Just so you know, and chalk boxes are exclusive to my website only. You can't call me and say, hey, Jess, can you get me a chalk box? No, you got to go right on my website and purchase it. You won't want to miss out. Website is right above, right up there. Um, let's see, are we missing anybody? Hi, Rachel Lynn Parton. How are you? Thank you for doing hashtag live, live Jackie. Um, so let's see who I mean. Are you are going to have to show me why I need the gnome? Not in love with the ears. Amy, you better believe I will. You're going to love the gnome. Um, you got to stay tuned, though, for when me and Mads go live together. I'm going to have her go live with me because her idea is phenomenal. So when, as soon as Mads is able to go live with me, that's what we'll do. Okay, this next one is so, so me. If you recall, what was the son of a biscuit or something I think I said yesterday when I was really ready to say something else? How about son of a nutcracker? I might just start saying that all the time now. Um, I love this transfer, and it's going to be perfect with our sweet little nutcracker on our Odette 6x18 board, I might say, because it's awesome. Um, it's son of a nutcracker, Santa I can explain, and then, of course, the sweet little jingle bell. It is so cute. It, this, I think, is really going to be a hot seller. I really do. Between this and the classic Nutcracker, you guys grab it up because you can make a ton of gifts with this stuff, okay? And do a ton of home decor with it, right? Hey, Belinda. I grew up in Lake Stevens, Washington. I was like, oh, nice. Sandy also was from Washington. Don't like his ears. No? Okay. Oh, we'll definitely have to. Okay, I'll order it. Yay, Amy. All right, yeah, we will definitely... Definitely, definitely do something with the the, um, uh, the gnome. You guys are going to love it after you see what Mads comes up with. Or Mads, Mads' idea. You guys will love it. Okay, so hi, Denise. How are you? Hello, hello. Um, I am not making him with ears. Nice. Very, very cool. I'm curious to see him without the ears. I'm going to do him the way that he comes. I think he's just so cute. All right, I'm trying to open this gigantic box over here and not um, on my table because it's going to take up so much room. Now, this, I don't think I got any more transfers. The rest of my transfers are all coming in my big box because I knew there were certain transfers I wanted ASAP and was hoping they would have shipped USPS. But alas, they did not. Um, so that's why I, there were so many orders because I was trying to get some, you know, a little sooner. I was trying to be sneaky pants. But... Womp womp, bit me in the butt. All right, so I think this next giant box, which I have to be careful opening so I don't <gasps> knock everything over. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have an avalanche on my craft room table. Oi, yoi, yoi. Oh, beauty, beauty, get your booty to me. Okay, wait, hold on. I'm trying to take this out. Oh. Hold on. Oh, okay. We're going to shove this box off to the side so I don't knock anything over. Problem is, is I built myself a wall into here because the one box that came is huge. So big. So big. Okay. So this is one of our Odette boards. This is the 9 by 12 Odette. I'll open this in just a second so you guys can see. Okay. And make sure you guys are saying hashtag live as you come in. Um, let's see. Hi, Denise. Uh, Sandy, I know you throw Joan. Oh, nice. Very cool. Hi, Terry. Hi, Karen Abernathy. How are you? All right, so let's see our awesome new chalk paste and couture ink colors. Now, I know I did leave one off when I was trying to do, I was just trying to do an order just for the paste and ink, and I missed one color, so that's coming um, in the big box. So just so you guys know, that is coming. Um, so... Let's go ahead and start looking at some paste and ink. These are all our new colors, you guys. They're awesome sauce. Okay, one, two. And one color I ordered and I didn't even need to because I got it from Chalkon. So, oh my gosh, do you see this? This just makes me so happy right here, all this color. 
love, love. The crafter in me loves to have colors at my fingertips. I actually even said to Mads today, I just can't wait to get my new colors. It's all like, yes, I love my transfers, but I love having access to all the different color that we offer. And some of these colors, holy, and why did I, oh, that's an ink and a paste. That's why. Um, some of these are just gorgeous. Like, okay, first of all, do you guys remember, like, look at these colors and tell me these are not beautiful fall colors right there. Just look at that clumping. Is it not gorgeous? And look, if we throw in some, ooh, maybe if we throw in rainforest, look at that. Hold on. Look at these colors together. This is regal, papaya, curry, and rainforest. Stunning colors for the holiday. But wait, hold on. I'll show you guys all the colors up close in just a sec. Let me finish getting them all out. Okay. Boop. Oh, the shimmer red. How could I have forgotten about that? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, so let's do, should we do ink first? All right, so this first one is called Almond. I'm going to try and do it so that way you guys can see it in both screens. How beautiful is that color? That is perfect. Oh, I love it. This is almond ink. Then we have, I think this is ocean. Yep. Ocean mist. How gorgeous is this? Oh my goodness. Love it. These are all inks. This is marvelous. Marvelous. Love it. Hi, Lorraine. How are you? Oh, okay, boss is back. Guess I better look busy. <laughs> You're funny, Cindy. Hey, Kim. Hey, Diana. Hello, hello. Hey, Kimberly. And Sheila. Thank you. Hi, Janine Grimm. Hi, Michelle Fox. How you doing? Okay, this next one is... Wait, hold on. I got to remember where I was holding it. There it goes. See, we can see it in both screens. This is Pesto. I really love this green. This green is so pretty. Okay, and these, like I said, these are all our new inks, and this is Cadet. Oh, it's so pretty. It's such a pretty blue. Oh, my gosh. I love it. All right, so these are our five new inks. See it? Love them. Love, love, love. Okay, so five new inks. I got the Shimmer Reddit Chalk on. Lori, you're so lucky. Hi, Tanya Thomas. All right, so now we're going to start going through the new chalk paste colors. Are you ready? All right, so here's Marvelous. So pretty. I think this is Seafoam, right? Yep, this is Seafoam. Oh, this is so pretty. Isn't this a pretty color, Bob? Yeah. Seafoam. And then this is Daffodil. Gorgeous. Love it. Oh, did I not share this into my, hold on, you guys. I may not have shared this into my VIP group, and I know they were waiting too. Whoops-a-daisy. That's because I had all the switcher issues. What's that? What'd you say? Is it almost done? Okay. You can talk. I can't hear you. It's okay. I'm, I'm just live. It's not a, a team thing. You can say what you have to say. I can't hear you. Oh, I'm saying it's, um, it's done. Oh, okay. Great. There it goes. Sorry, guys. I forgot to share that to my VIP group. Seafoam. Isn't seafoam so pretty? I know, Chris, the, the cadet is gorgeous. It's stunning. Hey, Tanya. I know. My favorite, too. Got my box yesterday. Can't wait to go live later. Yay, Michelle Fox. Okay, so that was... Oh, wait. That was seafoam. Okay, Daffodil, I think I showed. This is sage. Look how pretty this one is. Oh, it's gorgeous. Love it. Look at that color. Okay. Then we've got almond. And apparently I ordered two almonds. And I think that's why I thought I got the iris. And I did not. Womp, womp. Oh, wait, no. I did not order two almonds. Yay, it's iced coffee. Okay, so I don't know why I didn't order. I think maybe the pesto. Look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. Love it. That is iced coffee. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. I love all the colors so far, too, Angela. It's so pretty. Hi, Vicki Kohler. 
is the sea foam closest to eucalyptus? Eucalyptus is definitely a little darker. Where is the sea foam? The sea foam, I would say it's a it's it's sort of close to eucalyptus, but it's not. Um, the eucalyptus is darker. Can you see? Like the eucalyptus is definitely a darker color. I would say the sea foam is a mix between eucalyptus and couture teal. If you mix the two together, that's what you would get. For sure. That's what I would say. Okay. Um, here's the cadet. Look at that blue. It's so vibrant. Look how vibrant it is. So pretty. Love it. Okay, look at this one. This is Rainforest. Oh, Rainforest. You are going to be all over Christmas stuff for me this year. And now, wait, hold on. I got to hold these two up together so you can see just how stunning this is. Look at the Rainforest. Oh, gosh, can I do it like this? Look at the Rainforest and the Shimmer Red. Oh, yes, please. I can see lots of holiday projects with this. Now, let's just enjoy the Shimmer Red in all its glory because it's gorgeous. Oh, yes, it is. Look at that color. Oh, beauty. I need to order many, many, many more of this because the shimmer red is the bomb. So awesome. Love the iced coffee and sh red shimmer. Yes, Jen. Oh, yes, I could see that. Is almond or iced coffee closer to the old fawn? I'm going to say that it's iced uh, almond, rather. Almond is super close to the old fawn. Definitely. Um, either or actually could. It's just if uh, your lighter or darker preference. That's what I would say. I, I, I love them both. I think they're both great. Um, this color is already an ink color. And boy, am I so happy that we moved this into a chalk paste color. I'm going to tell you something. It looks more blue on my camera than it does in real life. It's like I got some green to it. It's the color looks a little wonky um, compared to how I see it, but it's gorgeous. It is so pretty. It really is. Um, hi, Carmen. Hi, Timmy. Rainforest and Shimmer Red. Absolutely a must have. Yes, you do, Chris. You totally do. Oh my gosh. It's so stunning. All right. Now here's another green. Here's Meadow. And Meadow we did have as a um, couture ink color, and I believe we kept it as a couture ink color as well. So pretty. Such a pretty green. I love it. Okay, then we have Pesto. Now, you guys have seen Pesto. I have held this. I, I got this at Chalk Con. So this is actually a dupe for me. So let me put it with my other chalk paste so I don't open it. Um, so there's that. Now we've got Grage. I really like this. It's a mix of beige and gray. And it's super pretty. Really pretty. Like, I know it's how can you say gray is pretty? Like it is, it's going to look gorgeous with like, for instance, take a look at like, what if you did look at these three colors together, the grayish, the sea foam and the daffodil. Oh, I'm sorry. This is sage, grayish, sage and daffodil. Are they not gorgeous together? Do they not scream like a baby's room? Like they're soft colors for like a baby's room. I love them. Love them. Love them. Okay, next one is curry. Oh, I love this. I'm telling you, this is going to be perfect for autumn. I love the curry. So pretty. And then we have the papaya. And curry and papaya were our ink colors. Look how pretty they are. And then we've got our new regal. Regal is also an ink color. Gorgeous. I'm telling you, look at these three. Wait, let me pick a green to go with this too. Oh, wait a second. No, no, no. Oh, no. Check these out. Tell me this doesn't scream autumn. The shimmer red, the regal, the papaya, and the curry. Yes, please. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Love it. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Hi, Carmen. Hi, Tammy. What was the last teal blue color? Yes, that was Tide Tiny, the one that we had for um the ink. Just sneaking a peek. Yay, Karen's at work. Karen, we'll be shh, quiet while you're at work. We'll keep it quiet as best we can. Okay, thanks. Writing down the ones I love and I want to get. Yay, Tanya. Roar, love that combo. Right, Jen? Isn't it gorgeous? Okay, so those are all our new chalk piece. I'm going to try, you know what? 
I'm going to try to stand them up someplace else. Let's try and stand them here. So that way I can get to my boards because some of them are going to be pretty, pretty long. So I don't want to knock my stuff over. And I can't put these away just yet because I have to scan them into my, my scanner. So that way I have them from when we do events. I don't have to reprogram everything in. Bub, did you go outside? Babe? Hey, Bub. Can you come shut the door? The side door just opened. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to scream, guys, but the side door just opened and we are getting rain. Yeah, um, yeah, I would probably lock it so it stays closed. Did you you did I use your award bonus? What award bonus, Renee? Um, it would be easier to make a list of what I don't want, right, Lori? Isn't it gorgeous? Hi, Laura. How are you? I can't wait to use these beautiful colors either. I'm thinking, you know, I got that gorgeous fall wreath, and I'm thinking it would be so pretty with some of the colors that I just showed you guys. Okay, now let's take a look. Bob, you want to help me out? Or you just want to, what do you want to do? You want to come sit and do live with me? You want to eat? You're waiting for your food to cook? Okay, you having a timer on, right? Oh, what are you waiting for then? Oh, okay, as soon as I'm done, I will come help you. Okay, so here is our Odette frame. This is the Odette 9 by 12 Let's go ahead and let's get this open because I'll be designing on this pretty soon. You did shut the oven off, right, babe? Yeah. Okay, good. Or the this the burner, I meant to say. Okay, good. Oh, I love that combo too, Michelle Fox. Hi, Sonia. How are you? Okay, hold on. I'm trying to get this open. And as you notice, I'm not using transfer trimmers for this. I am using scissors to open this stuff. Transfer trimmers are for transfers only. Okay, so look at this board oh my gosh i love it oh i love our odettes the odettes are probably my new favorite board i love that they look like enamel like enamel is super on trend right now they're not they're like our boutique surface so like with all those enamel boards that were out over the summer they were one and done surfaces one and done and i speak from experience because i tried to get chalk paste off the one and i couldn't one and done these are not. These can be redesigned on over and over and over again. I will be filling my house between the reclaimed drawer fronts and these because I love them. I just love them. So this is the Odette 9 by 12 um, Did you get one at ChalkCon? I got an award, Renee, but you don't get a, a, a cash bonus with the award. The only time you get a cash bonus... For an award is either a rising star or a luminary. And I did get the first luminary last year. And girl, that money has long been spent. That was over a year old. <laughs> um, I went online to order the seafoam paste and realized they already did. Yay, Megan, you already got it. It's coming. Hi, Casey Ray. How are you, girlfriend? Um, that screams Halloween to me. Absolutely, Sonia. Um, you want to bet which one would look super good here? Check this one out. What about our new flying lessons on this? Would this not look super cute? Or if you order the Spirit of Halloween, I believe this the chalk box comes with this frame. This frame is included in the Spirit of Halloween chalk box. I'm 98% sure. But look at them. Are they not the cutest? Oh my gosh, I love it. I cannot wait to decorate this. Oh, I don't want to rush the summer because you guys know summer is my favorite like season. But I need autumn to come. Because I've got so many amazing things. And then I need fall and Christmas specifically. Um, do adept boards have to be waxed? They do not have to be waxed, Angela. No. They're they're just like our boutique frames. The boutique boards. They're they're great. I got zero new colors in my order. I still have so much open paste I need to use. Oh, Jen, I understand totally. I get it. I was at the end of a lot of colors. And I was like, all right, well, I'm not going to use this color. Because I'm not going to reorder it if it's not going to be coming through. Um... So, yeah, that's what that was. All right, I have one last box. One last box. And it's a gigantic one. It's actually uh, 35 pounds. And it should be all of our new boards with the exception of um, our Verity, which does not come back out until July 22nd, and the metal tray. That is, oh, God. Yeah, I would love it if you would. Okay, wait, watch yourself. Hold on, let me get this snipped. A lot of I fell over. I'm I know, right? Dizzy. 
Because you're hungry? No. Oh, God, I just. Oh, you were spinning on that, you goof. It was fun, though. <laughs> All right, watch your hands, babe. Ready? Ow. Nowhere near it. Here, can you cut that side for me? Yeah. Thank you, bub. Thank you, sir. Where do I put it at? Um, you see how there's the scissor, the, the, the thingy right there? There we go. Perfect. Okay, here, let me have them scissors because they're crazy go. sharp. All right, thanks, my man. Okay. All right, let's, there we go. So I'll start pulling out some boards here. All right, this is our Sylvie. This is Sylvie. All right, let's, um, uh-oh, did we freeze? No, okay, we're good. Um, yes, 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 yes. Let's see, did I get, hold on one second. I plan on ordering all fall Christmas stuff because after July 4th, summer is basically over. Tanya, you are so funny. The Odette boards are so nice. Lo I do too, Lori. They are awesome. Um, Sylvie is gorgeous too. This one, I think this one was one I had to order for my upcoming event. And I'm a little leery that I may not get it in time. Just because UPS does not like <laughs> coming here. I'm not going to open this one. I will show you what a Sylvie looks like though. Because I plan to open the one. So, um... Let me get this over here. I'm like I said, I, I'm not gonna open it because I do need it for my event that's coming up. Um, I will open. Oh wait, hold on! I forgot I ordered these. Check these out. These are our new white chocolate chips. You guys, I have so many ideas for these. <gasps> I ordered a few more yesterday. Oh my goodness! Look at them. They're our little chocolate chips, but they're white. Are they not so cute? Look at them. Yay. Oh, I love them so much. I need a bajillion of you. I have some, some, like, such cute ideas planned for them. Oh, my gosh. Okay, sorry. I did not mean to totally deviate there. Okay, what board is this? This is our Reclaim Diagonal Palette Board. Ooh. Let's open this one up. Where is? Oh, sorry, I'm trying to reach the scissors. Okay. Let's get this little cutie opened. Boy, this one is definitely heavily closed. A lot of tape. <laughs> Hold on. I got to figure out how to open it. I'm scared I'm going to cut myself with these. Oh, God. With these scissors. They're so sharp. Okay. Did it open all the way yet? There it goes. Okay. Ready? Wow. They definitely do a great job of taping it closed. That's for sure. Okay, this one is the Reclaimed Diagonal Reclaimed Diagonal Palette. Oh, I love the color. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Please bring it on. This is gorgeous. Oh, my God, it's so heavy duty. This is a heavy board, you guys. This is really heavy. I love that it goes in a diagonal. So it is just like our palette board. But it's on a diagonal and it's gray. Now, um, isn't it adorable, Carmen? I do need a box cutter, Tammy, for sure. How do you punch holes in them like for making? Oh, you need a Tiny Thomas. You need a crop -a dial and it will cut right through. I can't wait for the Verity either, Julie. It's going to be gorgeous. Hi, Nikki Morris. Um, you, um, you guys. I was trying to think of this. Do you remember any Chalk Couture designers on here that went to Couture Tour in like, was it like March and April? Do you remember the boards that we got? They were a small square. It is the exact same color of that board. I wonder if maybe we were testing out the color to see thoughts on it. Ouch. Because remember, it was an exclusive board. Oh, and you know what I love? You could easily do this both ways. Wait, hold on. How come I can't show it all? I always have. Oh, because I'm going sideways. Okay, you could easily show this both ways. Look at this. That back and this front. You absolutely could do it. And can you guys see the diagonal slats? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I have plenty of ideas for this board. I love that it's double-sided. I love it. So good. It's so good, guys. Oh, my goodness. You are so welcome. I'm putting my website in the comments below. If anybody is, like, feeling the need to jump on and just go start buying the, some boards, have at it. Okay. So, let's 
see what our next board is. Okay, our next board. Oh, the natural burlap board. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to open this one. Oh my goodness. Please don't let me cut myself. That would really be the worst. Oh, get in here. Oh yeah, well the chalk paste wipe off of that board. Uh, Tanya, it won't wipe off. It is wood. You can, mm, yeah, no, it's going to be a one-time use. Um, definitely going to be a one-time use, just like this one. Yes, you totally can make it a tray as well, Heather Susan. You're so right. They said they decided not to logo so we could use both sides. They know us well. Yes, they do, Tammy. I love that. They know that we like it because I love how they're logoing the back of the boards. Like the back of the Odette has it, the Sylvie. They have the logos on the back. Um, I love that they didn't. Thank God. I was actually thinking they did, so I'm glad they didn't. Hi, love bug. How are you? Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, I love this. This is the, ouch, don't hit my head. Natural burlap board that's 12 by 18. Uh, you guys, this is stunning. Wow. Do you guys see this? Oh, avalanche. We got a little bit of an avalanche here. Wow, wow, wow. Look at the studs. First of all, I love that. Wow, I really love that. Um, it's it's like burlap. It feels like how burlap would feel. But here's the difference. I feel something hard underneath it, which is probably the box. Like, this is, this is gorgeous. This really is. Wow. Can you guys see this? Look. Let me show you. You hear? It's hard underneath. It's super tight. It's like, um, yeah, it's a, a burlapy material. Oh, I really like this. Oh boy. I can't wait to design on this. Wow. It's got wood underneath. It's like the wood, whole wood frame. It's super awesome. Um, okay, wait, let me, how can I describe this? Hold on. I want to make sure you guys can see. Do you guys see? There it goes. Look on the left-hand side video. See where my hands are wiggling? Oh, well, they wiggle in both fingers. See where I'm touching the um, the, the little studs? This side. Wow. Look at it. You see how tight it looks? This is a gorgeous board. I'm really excited. This is like one of our the one of the new like material boards. This is gonna be so fun to create on, you guys. I can't wait to create on this actually. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Oh my gosh. I'm building up a, a, a wall barrier of all my boards. Oh my goodness. Okay. No wonder this box was so big. What is down here? Hold on. Oh my gosh. These boards are gigantic. I think this is the Sylvie 18 by 18. Yes, this is the Sylvie 18 by 18. Let's get this puppy open because I can't wait. Remember the one board that I said I can't open right now because I need it for an event? This is the 18 by 18 version of it. Okay, I'm just trying not to cut myself. So give me a second here. What does the back look like? Oh, let me show you, Julie. It's, it is, um, it is branded. So it's not like you could design in there unless you wanted to paint. You absolutely could if you wanted to paint over it. It's just brown. It's wood. Okay, this box is gigantic. Ugh. Okay, hold on. Oh my goodness, my arms are too short. Oh my God, it's heavy. This is a nice board. Oh my goodness, get out of here, <laughs> box. All right, here we go. So here is Sylvie. I can't even put it down on the desk, it's too big. So here's Sylvie, you guys. It is so pretty, okay? It's got that gorgeous boutique board feel, okay? Super smooth. I love that it has the detailed beveled, I think they call it a beveled edge. It is awesome, okay? Um, I like that it came with the corners protected, 
It's a, this one is a absolute, a totally square board. This is um, the Sylvie and it's awesome. It's got this sawtooth hangers in the back so that way you can hang up, um, hang it up on the wall. And it's a perfect square for our size D transfers. I will definitely be doing the vintage bug on this one for sure. Cause it's going to be so cute and so perfect for it. Oh my gosh. It's going to be adorbs. I love it. I cannot wait to use it. Oh God. All these boards over here. My goodness. All right. Now let's keep on opening some big ones. Now I think this is the bigger version of the burlap board. I'm not going to open this. Oh, this is the Sylvie. This is another Sylvie. This is a uh, 12 by 18. Okay. Now here's the cool thing. The Sylvie 9 by 12 and the Sylvie 12, uh, the Sylvie 9 by 12 comes with both a white chalkboard and then in a black chalkboard. So the white chalkboard has the black frame. The black chalkboard has the white frame. So this is just the Sylvie 9, uh, 12 by 18. It's pretty gigantic. I'm not going to open this one. And then I think the next one that I have is the bigger version of the burlap board. It is. It's the 18 by 24 burlap board. I'm not going to open this either just because I have no room. So we're going to store these so that we don't, they don't get busted up in the boxes. So that, you guys, is my haul. That is my haul video. Oh, my goodness gracious. I've got to get these. Boxes moved. Boop. Okay, so let's come on back to me. Oh, you guys, I hope, I hope, I hope you loved everything that I got and showed you. Um, I need a bigger house and lots more. Uh, yes, please, Chris. Perfect for our D size transfers. Absolutely, Tammy. Um, I love it too, Julie. I know the square board is perfect, Tammy. It almost looks like canvas a little bit rougher. Yeah, Ta Tanya, it absolutely does. Absolutely. Love the burlap, but super intimidated by that texture. Jen, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little intimidated myself, but I'm going to test it out. We're going to see what happens. Um, Tanya can see the bug on that one. Okay. Um, yeah, that is so cute. The, the, the diagonal. I think Tanya was talking about the diagonal reclaimed palette board. I love it. I love it. Of course, Angela, I'm happy to share. So very quickly, um, which one shall I create on? I have about 25 minutes before I have something else to do. <coughs> do you guys want me to create something now or should I come back live tonight and do it? I kind of feel like I should do it now, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know. Let's hear what you guys have to think, what you guys have to say. This was a pretty long live already. I'm already 45 minutes in. Should I just do another quick live later on tonight? What do you think? What do we think? We got a little bit of a delay, so I'm going to just take my time. Um, I think I should come back tonight. I didn't realize it was going to take as long as it did um, to open everything. But, you know, we got to show everything, right? We got to make sure we're making educated decisions. Um, I cannot wait to add all of this into my stash. I love that I have some new stuff to create on. Now, both, both, the burlap. Kimberly Widener, you want me to do on the burlap? Oh, I don't know if I... I know something I want to put on the burlap, and I didn't get that transfer yet. And the burlap is a one-time use board. Please don't be mad at me, but I don't think I'm gonna I'm gonna create on it. Suzanne saying now. Sonia says tonight. Um, let's see. Everyone is saying now. Tammy is saying both. Um, hi Rose Brelli. So what if I do this? What if I? do a quickie quickie project right now something super lightning quick on a smaller scale smaller scale and then tonight I do a bigger one what do you think will that work I'm sorry Kim I promise you it's gonna happen I promise you I'm gonna be using it I just I'm waiting for the tr one transfer to come in to use it it's something I really want to do Yo, yes, both would be awesome. <laughs> All right, let's do, let's do a little project right now with the white chocolate chips because I have been dying to get my hands on these. Okay, I'm going to do, 
Mary Digitizing says both. All right, I'm going to do a quick project now, and then I will do a quick project again tonight. All right, so, oops, I have to be careful how I open these because I still have to scan these. Hold on. Okay. So, I have been wanting these since I saw them at ChalkCon. Let's go back into this. Do you guys like this way? Or should I go back to split screen? Hold on, wait. Um, top. Slots. How about this? This looks pretty good. Okay, that way you can see it all. So I've been wanting these um, little white chocolate chips since ChalkCon. And with our locally grown transfer... I have been wanting to play with, and then one of our, my bestest friend designers, what, is that my husband calling? Hold on. Sorry. Hopefully you guys can still hear. Okay. Then one of my very good friend designers, Miss Sage, posted this super cute project, and I was like, darn it, Sage, I need that. Well, I am not. I am not, um, obviously good with a saw, so that wasn't going to happen, but I saw this and I thought, how cute, can you punch through those, yes you can Chris, how do you scan, oh, um, Tammy, on, uh, you, you saw in the, my team page, um, when I use the PayPal here, I get it scanned just for when I have events coming up, it just makes it easier for me to do it then and not now. All right, so here's the idea I have with this. If you guys um, noticed in the catalog, the Yuletide Trio, okay, it was on, it was a, a chalkboard that had a wood base. And I was like, what is this? Are we getting that? Because I need, I need that base. And then I looked at it and I was like, Oh, it, do it doesn't have it. Well, what the heck? We didn't get that. We actually did, and we had it all along, okay? So, we have, and I'm going to have to use, I'm going to have to use this as an example, because I don't want to open up another board and base. I have 87 million of them that I could just look out. So, here's, I'm going to show you guys, if you've never seen our chalk piece, now this project has been on here since I created this for my team to use as a video. Okay. I'm going to spray it with some water. I cannot wait till we get our awesome mister, our fine mister. Oh, it's going to be wonderful. Okay. And I'm going to get one of our awesome board erasers. Now our board erasers are currently out of stock until uh, mid-July and that's next week. So they'll probably be back in stock by the end of next Friday is what I'm going to hope. Um, but we're going to spray it a little bit, right? Um, and then you were going to do this. Just like this. Just like this. Do you see that? Do you see how awesome and easy it was to get the chalk paste? This has been sitting on here for months. Okay? Super awesome. Now I'm just going to dry it off just like this. And I'm using this as a sample project. I will totally be making a, my own um, for this in just a little bit because I have to keep less this mess up, right? That's what I love about our, our board and bases. They're double-sided. You can go both horizontally and vertically. I'm using this for an example purpose. So check this out. This is our five by seven, five and a half by seven and a half box frame. This is our board and base. Now, if you lay it in, really, you're going to make a liar out of me. It definitely fits in here. Hold on. I don't want to hurt my fingers. Give me one sec. I think you have to get them. Really? Are you going to make a liar out of me? Box frame. There it goes. Come on. I just had it. Hold on. One second. I 
go in, would you? Hold on. This definitely goes in here because I watched, I did it. I played with it at Chalkon. Maybe my box frame is just not cooperating. This is making me look awesome on live. And I think because I'm scared to use my nails because, you know, they're fake. Here we go. Let's try this. I'm probably going to really be sorry that I'm doing it this way. So probably shouldn't follow my lead when I do this. Ouch. That hurt. See, that's why I probably shouldn't have done that. Okay, hold on. Let me try one more time before I wind up hurting myself. It's like, gotta go in. Oh, that really hurt. Oh. Don't, don't, don't. Hold on. Ouch. And I did it again. My goodness. Hold on. Really? Guess what? We're going to go for another box frame because I know this works. Because I did it. There it goes. Oh. <laughs> you guys, this is not turning out the way it was supposed to. This was supposed to be a quick and easy. And it's not. It's like right there. Why is it not going in? Something is obviously blocking it. Obviously. We're getting another box frame. Hold on. I'm getting super frustrated now. One second. And I have to climb over my avalanches of box frames. Okay. Hold on. Because I know this works. It could just be that I have one of those days... One of these days I will get to order huge orders like you do. Oh, Michelle, you know what it was? I had a lot of designer dollars that were getting ready to expire. Okay, hold on. And I'll just retape this other box close. No biggie. Mm. Oh, yeah, Roberta. No, it's not lagging. It's me. You need the newest one? Oh, no. I have a bunch of old ones. Is that what I did? Wait, the newest one what? Box frame? Oh, bummer. Yeah, this is definitely too small. So mine... Oh, no. There it goes. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, no, it fits in. It's in down on this side. Hold on. Beating this up. Okay, well, apparently, because I have like 40 of the old box frames in my possession at the moment, it's going in. I can see it wanting to go in. Maybe because I'm pushing down on it too. That probably shouldn't do it. Hold on. Now I've got it stuck in here. It definitely works. It's probably because mine are not new ones. But you know what? I hope you guys all have your drinks out and are drinking like I told you to because here's Hot Mesh Jess trying to prove a point. And it's not... I'm going to try and get Big Brand to do this for me. When he gets in. I wonder if I hammer out this a little bit. Hold on. Please hold. You know what would probably be smart? Whoa. If I maybe just used a hammer instead of 
trying to bust up my scissors. Probably just needs to be hammered out just a little bit. Try a rubber mallet. Yeah. There. Wait. Hold on. I got it. Oh, well, I got a, car, a corner of it. I will make this work. So we're going to just pretend that it's in there because now I'm beyond frustrated. And there's boxes everywhere. My goodness. This little cutie needs help because I just broke them. Great. Well, he's going to look real rustic. That's okay. Anywho, <laughs> what was supposed to be a super quick project is not turning out that way. There it goes. <laughs> we'll get it in one way or another, won't we? And I'm probably going to be super sorry that I'm doing it like this. But anyway, you need the new board and base. Clearly, I've got the old ones. But here was my idea that I wanted to do. I thought it would be super cute. And this is turning out to be, I hope everybody's tuning in to see what a disaster Jess is. Just tune in live to see what a hot mess I am. Hold on. It's probably going to get worse. So anyway... The ideas that I had were, um, let's see, grease that baby up. I bet you're laughing, Tanya. I bet you are. Tammy's laughing. I would be at it still. Oh, yeah, I want to be at it still. You have no idea. I'm, I'm super irritated. I will get it in. I will. Okay, so here's what I wanted to make. I thought it would be super cute to have this sunken in in the back. With the little white chocolate chip resting on it. And I was going to do um, the milk and cream and the farm fresh. I just thought it would be super cute. Or like the farm fresh eggs and, and uh, milk and cream or something. Just for my kitchen. Just because I thought that they would be adorable. So let's get our transfer trimmers. Remember these little cuties don't come out until July 22nd. I love that they're branded and they're our color. So let's do... Let's cut out and use, how about we do, um, how about, I don't know, let's see, which two should we do? They're all so good, but I want to do two in particular, and I'm going to do them white and black. Since we're on the white chalkable chip, we'll do black ink. I mean, black paste. So we've got, let's look at these and see which ones are going to be super cute. How about, the, I bet you do, Tanya. I got your message. I got your message. Probably why I was drawn to you in the first place. Roberta, you're so cute. I'm thoroughly entertained. Thank you, Tanya. It's pretty much my job. I hope you guys all have your drinks out, whether it's Coke or Diet Coke or a beer or a cup of coffee, because every time I jack up, you guys should be drinking. This could be a fun drinking game. I'm telling you, you'll either be highly caffeinated or drunk by the time I'm done. That That's the way it's going to go. All right. So let's look at this. I was thinking I want to do, how about we do farm to table and farm fresh eggs. I think that will be so cute. Farm fresh eggs and farm to table. Okay. Do, do, do. Hi, Mia. How are you, girl? You missed me beating up my box frame. Hey, Vicky. Hi, Vicki Hunter. Got your Diet Coke Zero. Yeah, there you go. I've got a Coke Zero, too. So we're going to be highly caffeinated by the time this live's over. Because it's jacked up. <laughs> All right. So we have our little box frame that we made, right? Super cute. You know what would even be cute? Now that I wonder if I could even get the board and base out. It's in there. It is not coming out. It's in. Hold on. That hurts, so don't do that. You know what would probably even been just as cute? 
That probably would have been just as cute. Alrighty, so, you know, you guys just get to come in and be totally entertained. It's fine. All right, so we're going to do fresh eggs. Now, what we do is we always label the back of our transfers. The reason we label them is because our transfers are reusable over and over and over again. I'm almost done, babe. I'm sorry. Is daddy home? No. Oh, okay. I thought I heard him talking upstairs. That's why I was asking. I'm just about done. So what we're going to do is we're going to do fresh eggs. And guys, I am going to have to cut it short after this one. I forgot little Bram was waiting for me to dump his hot, um, dump the hot water for his pasta. We don't let him do that. So um, I do have to end it after this. That way he can eat. All right. So I am going to pop the farm fresh on here. Okay. Farm fresh eggs. I'm trying to... No, 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 babe. That's fine. They understand. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Thank you, baby. That was on the ground. Yeah, I know. I knocked it over. Okay, now let me get my crocodile out. Oh, you got this too. I knocked everything over. Tons yeah. of stuff. Get rid of this. Thank you. Oh, you know what? No, that one can go on the ground for right now. Just yeah. because I don't want to mix it up and Okay, so you guys were asking about the crocodile in these. We're gonna do that as soon as we're done. So let me get I'm just going to use some black velvet chalk paste. Actually, actually, I have an idea. I think I might use some bark instead. Where's my bark? I literally just used it the other day. Here we go. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mix some black velvet with the bark. 